Hello, YouTube, man. Welcome to another of Herp Derp's episodes of or Warframe Spy Vaults. Now, we're moving on to some Corpus Spy stuff here because that's going to be the other most common area where you're going to have to be uh, hacking a spy room. This is in the main Corpus ship set. I don't remember if there's an actual name for it, like the Grenier Galleon, or if it's just Corpus ship. Anyway. So we are here on uh, Gnathos Eris, which I think is actually one of the best vaults to be learning uh, high-level corpus techniques because uh, it does spawn a lot of infested that come out and start fighting the uh, corpus for you, and that removes one of the key elements that makes corpus spy missions difficult, which is that you have tons of MOAs and other corpus peoples following you into the room and generally giving you a hard time while you're trying to hack vaults and juke lasers and all these other sorts of things. So anyway, so we're on level 30 corpus and the other recommendation I have in general for corpus vaults is always bring at least one fairly accurate silenced weapon. Now I've got the Spira, which is completely silent and it is going to be uh, high damage enough to one shot a lot of level 30 rant enemies or so. And the reason, the reason you need a high-level silence weapon is for what I just said there, which is I shot out of the camera. And this particular vault is what I'm going to call the Corpus Parkour Vault because it's, you have to do all this laser parkour where you're dodging, la dodging lasers and jumping around and trying to find things. And um, so this is going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. But this, uh, in a lot of vaults, there are going to be actual enemies patrolling around. And in the case of Corpus, when there are enemies patrolling around, you want a silenced weapon. Notice that you can get rid of cameras that would immediately see and impede your advance without alerting all the nearby live enemies. Okay, so let's do this now. This is, is going to be the parkour vault, and I'm going to hop across here with a sing si simple jump right there to get across that pit. Wait for the lasers to come down and go back up, just to make sure I have the most time possible. And I'm going to use an aim glide to get across that first set there. So the first part of the vault is pretty easy. It's the second part that can get difficult. Now, I do usually have a lot of luck being able to juke lasers if I have to jump all the way through. I'm going to check the alternate route, though, first, because the alternate route is always easier in the parkour vault. So that involves coming up in here, jump up backwards. Oh, shoot. Okay, failing at parkour. Woohoo! There we go. All right. Now it looks like it might be available this time. So the alternate route is always easier than trying to aim glide your way through if you have the option. Uh, let's see. So if I break my way through that, and then that door is open, and so is that one. So this is this is the same room, but we're going to go through it in a different manner. So instead of trying to juke our way through all these lasers and aim glide through, we're just going to use a simple uh, air air slide jump. And that's going to get us around this big old path here. And if this door is open, you could maybe hop down in front, but that's, there's no point when you can just drop in here. And now you're inside the vault without having to have hacked open the door or anything. This is not a vault where normally you have to worry about enemies coming into the vault with you, but you know now. Oh, shoot. I'm going to stop talking. There we go. Data extracted. It actually, it's hard for me to do those hacks while I'm talking. As we all know, corpus hacks are more difficult in that they are timed, and it's a lot easier to fail them. <laughs> now, if you notice my technique there, um, which I'll probably talk about more in later videos, I always try and hack the uh, outer set of corpus thingies first, and then the outer little set of hex guns first, and then match up the inner piece by spinning it to match what we got there. Anyway, so if you were to... Sometimes, though... That path is closed. Um, occasionally, just this door up here that you can get up to is closed, and but you still have the rest of the path open. So if that's the case, then I would actually recommend if that you attempt to juke the first set of lasers, juke the second set of lasers. Whoa! Well, you know what I mean. Do, do it properly. And then, depending on what's open, you can usually hop up into the tunnel from there and hop across into that back path like that. So if the, if the path is available in any way, you, it is always easier than attempting to deal with lasers. Otherwise, uh, it is always viable to just aim, just aim light your way across or crouch jump your way across. And right, that's the Corpus Laser Parkour Vault, and Herb is out. Peace out, YouTube.